Huh? Hello everybody, I'm that one cat and welcome back to another speed drawing. Today we have Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Red Dead Redemption. I think I like Red Dead Revolver a little bit more just because I liked sort of the arcadiness to it. Um, I still loved Red Dead Redemption though. Um, there was just something about the PS2 and uh, was it PS1? I think it was PS2. Red Dead Revolver was PS2. Um, there was something about the time, it's just very nostalgic to me, and uh, I don't know if the main character is the same in Red Dead Redemption. I, I think they sort of like said it's a spiritual successor, because it's a different name of the character. I think in Red Dead Revolver it's Red Harlow, um, but in Red Dead Redemption it's John Marston. But they have the same facial scars and stuff, so I, I don't know, maybe they did say something, I'm pretty sure they didn't. but. It's it, it's the same character. It looks like the same guy, but uh, I love Red Dead Redemption. The ending was sad, and I was really excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I haven't played it yet, though. I've been trying to kind of wait for the, the hype to wear off so I can play it without any uh, influence, because I, I feel like that happens sometimes where I'll buy a game because everyone else is playing it, and I'm like, yeah! Like, I get I get swept up in the hype, and then I play it, and I'm like, this game sucks! Um, not saying it was destiny, but it was destiny. <laughs> so um, any like big AAA games, I sometimes wait before it. I, I like to wait and see how it, how it turns out. But uh, unless it's Nintendo, Nintendo, I'm just like a fanboy. But uh, I really like this drawing. I, I was kind of proud of how the sketch turned out. I um, I used a reference for the pose and. I just, I, I don't know, gunslingers in general I've just always really loved because it, I, I love playing role-playing games and uh, I love playing D&D and stuff like that and just the whole idea of a western and just like the Wild West in general. The Wicked Wild West, as is, is Will Smith uh, famously said it, um, <laughs> uh, I just, there's something about gunslingers that are just really cool to me. Uh, I just, there's something about that kind of like hero, anti-hero kind of character that's really cool. And I just, uh, I, I really wanted to give him a shot. Here I drew his belt, but I, I got rid of it though, because the belt just didn't look right to me. I couldn't draw it, so, because everything was going pretty smooth up until that point. And then I drew the belt and I was like, nah, I don't know, that looks like kind of garbage. But, um, I, I really, I really love the whole idea of like the revolvers and, and like, uh, I love Tombstone. That's like one of my favorite Western movies, if not my favorite. I love Clint Eastwood. Anything he does uh, with like Westerns and whatnot, it's just so cool. Like it's such a, it's a cool hero. Like it's a cool character, like a cowboy, and like that Wild West feel. And I think that's what really drew me to Red Dead Redemption. And uh, I might draw some heat from this. As much as I liked Red Dead Redemption, I think I liked Gun a little bit more. Um, Gun, I think, was a little bit more arcadey. It was a little bit more like uh, fantasy-ish. Um, it, it took itself a little bit less serious, I think. I don't know which one came out first, but uh, if you haven't played it, try Gun. It's pretty good. I don't know. Try Red Dead, Re uh, Red Dead Revolver. I don't know if that's really aged well, but <laughs> you should check it out anyway, because I don't know. I remember it being really cool, but it could also be poopy now. I find a lot of games are like that that I used to like as a kid, and then I go back and play them, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, this is this is awful! Like, what the hell made me think this was good?" I think it's just because, like, when you're a kid, you don't have that cynicism. You're not really a hard critic. You, you just kind of like play stuff, and you like the fact that there's like shit happening on the screen is just exciting. And I think there's something like sort of magical about that, and. uh I, I definitely feel that way about Red Dead Revolver. I haven't played it in years. It's probably been more than like 10 years since I played that game. So I'm afraid to like go back and try it and be like, oh God, this game is terrible. And it like ruins the, the memory of it. But yeah, I think this turned out pretty good. Uh, I, I tried to, I don't know exactly, I'm not really a big gun guy. So I don't know exactly what type of guns Arthur Morgan uses. It looks like a Colt, like a Colt revolver, I think it's called. So I based it off of a new army Colt, I think is what it's called. And I tried to get it as accurate as possible. Cause I, you know, a lot of times when I draw items or swords or, or just like equipment, I, I don't really put much detail into it, but the guns are like the main 
part of this drawing so i really want to do a good job and replicate them because like if i just drew like a really boxy gun it kind of destroys the illusion um i tried to keep the colors as accurate as i could i, I okay <laughs> so i i originally was gonna draw the beard and then you'll, like, you'll see it. I'll, I'll, I draw the beard, then I delete it, then I draw the beard, then I delete it. I couldn't figure out how to draw a beard accurately without it looking like he just has like dirt on his face. <laughs> like, like he just went like face first into a mound of dirt or something. Um, but I tried a bunch of different things and what I eventually settled on was just doing like a, doing a color where the beard would be like kind of boxing it out or blocking it in, I think it's called. And then I used a brush to just mimic the strands of hair, which I think actually turned out pretty well. And I've been learning a lot about color and shadow, and I've learned that if if the light source is hot, the shadows are usually gonna be cold. So when I looked at the face, I actually used a little bit of purple in the shadow, which kind of sounds weird, but it actually works because I've been looking at all this stuff about color theory and how to do shadows. Here you can see the beard, the first attempt, the first pass of the beard. <laughs> it didn't turn out too well, it just, it just looked weird. It just looked like, I don't know, like he was transforming into something. Plus, it made his teeth really pop because I made his teeth way too white. And uh, he just, he had a lot of Colgate that morning. He just had a big bowl of Colgate for, for breakfast. That's why his teeth are so white, they're so perfect. I'm not really good at drawing teeth, <laughs> so so it's on my to-do list of things to learn. But uh, the shading, I'm still kind of getting used to like more realistic shading. It, it's still it sort of just looks like he's sweating <laughs> profusely. <laughs> and he's a gunslinger, you know. He's in a he's obviously in a fight, so he's gonna sweat, you know. Maybe that, maybe that is what it is. Uh, because um, I'm trying to get away from more like cell shaded stuff. I think it's called. Uh, the gun looks okay. I tried to mimic the metal pretty well. Metal's a really weird thing to draw. Uh, cause it just, it's so reflective and just, it's not like one specific color either. Here's the second pass on the beard. I think this is the one I stuck with. I tried to outline it this time. Um, I, like, I, I guess a lot of other artists, what they'll do is they'll make the line art a different color depending on what's near it. So like the shirt would be a little bit more blue, the skin would be like a darker tannish color. I didn't, I forgot to do that. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so I wanted to give the background a little nice Bob Rossi touch. I didn't want to do anything like too, too detailed. So I just left it kind of sketchy and sort of like painterly. But uh, I, like, I think this turned out pretty good. It, it seems like every three drawings I do, I, I, I keep increasing in quality and then like the next one looks like garbage. So look out for the next one. It's going to be trash. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, hopefully it's good. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun making this stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, if you haven't checked it out, check out Sketchy Poetry. That was like a really weird video that I made, but I, I kind of enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen that one, check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you like about Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, no spoilers. I do eventually want to play it. Hopefully I'll play it soon. Maybe I'll even stream it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I think it's on PC. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll find out after this video. <laughs> but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I, I really like how this one turned out. You can check out all my artwork on Instagram. You can support me on Patreon if you wish to. You can get your name on the awesome wall of cats. And uh, yeah, go check out some of my other speed arts. And leave a like and a nice comment. And some other cool stuff. Tell me your... Tell me your life story in the comments. Just max out those characters. Anyway, um, I'll see you. Bye. Next time. Bye. Bye. Huh?